Hey church, let's do a devotional out of Psalm 40. So many words in this psalm I know will encourage you. I, I love the, the idea that these are devotionals. It means that our devotion to the Lord is inspired when we hear God's heart toward us, which we do So in so many of the psalms. Psalm 40, let's begin in verse one. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. That's just a good word right there. Many people are impatient. If God does not answer their, their, their prayer as quickly as they uh, want, they become impatient with God. Oh, you don't care, God. I waited patiently, he says. Now, that's a life lesson, frankly, because David knows something about faith and he's giving us a life lesson. Wait patiently for the Lord. And he says, and he inclined to me and heard my cry and brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay. In other words, he saved me in my troubles and he set my feet on a rock. Okay, what a great word. Making my footsteps firm. And he put a new song in my mouth. What a word of declaration. What a word of, of worship and encouragement. He will put a new song in your mouth. Wait patiently, know this, have all faith. He will put a new song in your mouth, a song of praise to your God. Many will see it and will be in awe and will trust in the Lord. How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust. Now that's a great word. And has not turned to the proud, nor to those who lapse into falsehood. Don't trust in any of those things of the world. Many, O oh Lord my God, are the wonders which you have done and your thoughts toward us. There is none to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, he says, they would be too number, numerous to count. Sacrifice and meal offering you have not desired. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. He says, then I said, behold, I come. In the scroll of the book, it is written of me, I delight to do your will. Oh my God, your word is within my heart. This is a very solid word. What a great example. I delight to do your will. It's my joy to do your will, God, and your word is within my heart. I have proclaimed glad tidings of righteousness in the great congregation. In other words, to the people of God, I will proclaim your name. Behold, I will not restrain my lips. Lord, you know, I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and of your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. I will delight to tell people what you have done for me. Verse 11, you, O Lord, will not withhold my, your compassion. I know this. Your loving kindness and your truth will continually preserve me. For evils beyond number have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head. And my heart has failed me. But be pleased, O Lord, to deliver. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. See, this is what David is doing while he's waiting patiently for the Lord. He's appealing to the Lord, but honoring God. Let those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it. Let those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say, aha, aha, look at David's troubles. Let all who seek you, however, rejoice. And let all who seek you be glad in you. What, isn't this a good word? Let those who love your salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. Since I am afflicted and needy, let the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my deliverer, so do not delay, oh my God. See, this is a great word because he begins by saying, I waited patiently. But what did David do while he was waiting patiently? He honored God. He reminded himself of the promises of the Lord. This is a good word. If you're going through troubles yourself, wait patiently, but be reminded of that faithfulness and steadfastness of God's love toward you. Father, thank you for your heart poured out through your word. Let your Holy Spirit minister life. Help us to be reassured again of your steadfast faithfulness. I pray for everyone who hears this devotional, who is going through those troubles, let them wait patiently, but let them be reminded of your goodness and your faithfulness toward us. 
We honor you today now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen, church. God bless you. Go in the name of the Lord. God bless you.